Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So today we are going to discuss on the branching statements in C. So we are having <coughs> two different branching constructs which are the if statement and switch statement. If is called as a two-way branching statement because it is after evaluation it can take two paths either the true path or the false path. A classic example should be checking whether a given number is uh, even or odd. If the number is divisible by 2, you can say it is an even number or else you can say it is a odd number. Similarly, Swiss statement is called as an n-way branching statement, which means once an, once an expression is evaluated, it can choose multiple paths, whereas in if, you will be having either true or false. Say like a classic example could be uh, checking whether a character is a vowel or not. So, the condition will be true if the character is A, E, I, O, U. So out of the 26 options, 5 options turns out to be a vowel. So moving on to the different types of if statement, we are having simple if, if else, if else ladder, compound if and nested if. We will be focusing one by one. So first is a simple if where you will be having only an if part. So the syntax will is as follows, you can see if an expression is evaluated and if the expression is true only then it enters the if body so this part of the core snippet will execute only if the expression turns out to be true you can see an example if actually we are assigning x with the value 5 and if x is greater than 0 it says print x is positive so in this example you could see x is greater than 0 and hence the statement is true which means in the output you could see x is positive. This line will be executed and after executing the statement it will follow the sequential operation which means it will print exit option. So now moving on to the next type it is a if else statement. So here you can see the difference after the if statement there is an else part followed by the if. So L, first thing you have to notice that there will not be a condition along with else part. If this condition turns out to be false, then you will be executing this part. And if the condition is true, it will be executing the if part and after executing it will be coming out of the if construct which means this part of, part of the uh, course snippet will not be executed. So in this following example the sequence of statements will be sequence of statements which are executed will be like this so x is equal to 5 so value 5 is assigned to x then it will evaluate the expression and the expression turns out to be true so in the output the first statement will be x is positive and hence the condition is true it will not execute the else statement and after this statement it will directly come to this statement and it will print exit. Suppose if the value of x is less than 0 suppose if it is minus 5 the, the expression will be evaluated as it is false directly it should come to the else part and it would have executed if it's not positive and then it would have come to the exit statement. So next is the if else ladder. So here you can check multiple conditions. You can check n number of conditions. The syntax is if condition if this is true it will execute the if part if body and if this condition is false, it will come to the else part where you have a second condition. So it is the syntax is else if condition 2. And if this is true, it will execute this body. Else it will come to the third part. Again, if you are having another condition, you could add else if condition 3. And you can have n number of conditions. So again, we will look at an example. Again, we are assigning x with a value 5. If x greater than 0, so here the condition is true, it will come to this part and then 
it will be directly coming out of the if structure so it will not be checking any of the further conditions because here the condition has been satisfied suppose if the value of x is minus 5 we will be checking whether x is greater than 0 the condition is false so it will come to the next phase again if it is checking whether x is less than 0 this time the condition turns out to be true if x is minus 5 so it will print x is negative and it will come out of the if construct so next is compound of it is similar to a simple if here the only difference is that you can add multiple conditions in a single if if so you can see when you are adding more condition in if you shouldn't separate it with commas you can do it with do it with the help of a logical operator either and or or not anything you can use so you can see it with an example as well if a greater than b and a greater than x print a is largest so here we are checking two conditions we are checking whether a is greater than b and a is greater than x as we are using and operation this statement turn out, turns out to be true only if both the conditions are true only if both conditions are true it will execute it will enter this part but when you are checking this example a is greater than x but a is not greater than b which means this condition turns out to be false and the total expression will also turn out to be false if we are connecting it uh, with the help of a logical or operator probably the condition will be true because any one of the condition is true logical operator or consider this statement to be true and finally we are coming to the nested if this is basically a combination of different if structures so it can be defined as an if construct within another if construct here you can see you are having an if statement or you can have you are having an if else statement and inside that if you are having another if construct this is called as a nested if you can have a combination of any of the other if statements say you can have a compound if in, inside an if else statement or you can have a multiple if else statement all those are considered to be nested if so here we are checking the same condition as that of the uh, compound if statement here we are checking whether a is greater than b and a is greater than x the same case is considered here also if a is greater than b inside that statement we are checking whether a is greater than x i uh, hope you have uh, understood the basic constructs of if statements and with this uh, as a base uh, you can try solving different problems say like uh, checking whether a given year is leap year or not checking whether a given number is uh, even or odd whether a given number is divisible by 5 and 7 and so on. Hope uh, this would have helped you. Thank you.